find the mess because I haven't tidied up the wires yet, but that's a vertical wind axis turbine. There's three green wires come from the stator, um, and the trouble thing is you don't know how exactly to wire it up. Um, turn to the English side. This is it for the instruction manual. And this really say much. So the three green wires come from the stator, and there are three green wires come out of the charge controller. Uh, and I found out to wire it up, it doesn't really matter what order that you wire up the green wires to the green wires. Um, so those are a random order. Um, uh, it doesn't really matter with the three phase motors. Um, or this type of three-phase motor, the wind generator. Uh, I think the same thing for the horizontal generators. Uh, that's really matter what, uh, what way you wire them up to. And because this ain't in English, uh, this one here with the red light on, because it's not spinning. I don't know if you can see that red light. But this means brake, means the battery's fully charged and they don't want it to spin. Next one over is another green light, but it's not on right now. Uh, that's charged, so when it's spinning, it means it's charging. And this one means it's hooked up to the battery. So that means battery. I had to write it down in case I forget. Um, another thing, uh, it did not come with any, uh, any uh, mounting bracket poles or anything. So I had to fabricate one myself. And it needs 13 meters a second to actually generate full power. That's like 29 miles per hour or 41 kilometers an hour. And that's pretty fast because you need to probably to get any type of power. You probably need at least 5 miles per hour to get like, I don't know, 25 watts out of the 400. Maybe 50 watts max. But yeah, it's trying to spin but the brakes on. It will spin if the wind's strong enough, but it won't spin fast. And of course, it's the tree line is not above it, but it does spin. Um, had it spinning uh, fairly fast, but we'll have to trim uh, have to trim the tree line down a little bit, or raise it up more. One or the other. Uh, I think it's probably easier just to trim because uh, I had to fabricate something. To mount it on and that was a, a pain so probably just trim the tree line oh the wind kicked on when it's going to be strong enough to actually make it move uh, no that brake's holding it steady anyway